Welcome back to another CCS vlog. We're going to do a little walk around the shop, show you some projects we're currently working on. Uh, to my right here, we have a 66 Chevelle. This is for a customer that lives in Las Vegas. It sits on a Rocher Shop spec chassis. We've got an LS3. We've got Holly fuel injection on it. We've got it all painted, kind of monochromatic look. Firewall's all smoothed out. Um, we're actually doing final assembly on the car at the moment, so the paint work's done. Everything's been mocked up. We just need to install our wiring. Let's install our interior, which has already been built by the girls. So I'll show you when that goes in next week. Uh, Mark is working on getting the air conditioning unit back in, which has already been mocked up. And Dustin is actually building a really cool exhaust system for this, which we'll do a separate bit on. But anyway, it's coming along nicely. It's gorgeous. We've got a really killer custom looking silvery gray color we're working with and um, there you go we've got a 68 c10 we've been shipping away on we're actually getting pretty close to moving towards wrapping it up now um, this truck also sits on a rosa shop spec chassis great platform if you're looking for something to really transform your vehicle from that old rickety shit box it is and so something more modern and proper handling geometry on these is nice the build quality is great you can order them powder coated so if you've done a lot of them as we have with this platform we know how everything's going to fit get it powder coated plumbed and then we just do our work to it and make sure it fits up with the body nicely <clears throat> The engine is a Don Hardy LS engine. Isn't she pretty? Got Holly fuel injection on it. Really slick. These headers are from Ultimate Headers. The fitment on these is awesome. It's a killer looking flange. Just beautiful stainless headers. They fit this application really, really nicely. The front runner setup on this is a Billet Specialties True Track. And it really fits well. Great alignment, super clean look. Over at Don Hardy, they got it all the same color. A little dusty at the moment, but really nice kind of modern classic look with those valve covers we've got the firewall smoothed out and uh, like i said going back together now we are starting to work on the interior but before we could do the installation we've got our air conditioning mocked up from vintage air and we've got our favorite sound deadening product, Sound Skins. It goes in really nice. It's got a foam layer on top. And it's got the foil on the bottom. It's actually kind of comfortable to work on because it's soft. I'm sure that's not what they're intended purpose was with the foam but it's rather an acoustical deadener but it really works well so if you're looking for a good sound deadening product this stuff goes in nice nice clean look and it comes with that foam already attached to the back so We're doing some work on the bed so we can get our wheel fitment correct on this So to my left, we have an XLRV, pretty cool cars, Cadillac built. Now they share the same platform as the Corvette. Most of that stuff underneath is the same. And um, at least everybody always said it was the same. I never looked at one that carefully, but once we got this thing pulled all apart, uh, many of those suspension components, um, the front and the rear cradle, all that stuff is nearly identical on both 
the XLRV here, and our donor car. So here we have our beautiful donor. It's a 2018 Z06, and this car is a convertible now, but it actually used to be a hardtop. So we bought it as a convertible. It's a permanent convertible. I believe you call that a roadster. It was in an accident. Not that bad of an accident, but it does look like they used the jaws of life on her and turn it into this slick uh, roadster she is now. So what we wanted to do was take the entire drive line out of this car and put it under that car. And so far, it's been rather successful. We've had to make some modifications to the front and the rear cradle. Um, but almost all of the components with modification have swapped over to the XLRV. So it's really cool. Now you've got a lot of stuff like computers, uh, cooling components, lines, the sump system. It's, it's uh, a lot more difficult than I'm making it out to be but it is possible. So as you can see now, we have the XLRV with the LT4 power plant in it now. So this thing's gonna be wicked. We have the transmission that came with this car, well, the transaxle that came with this car. It all, it's all in right now. Um, and we were able to, like I said, move the entire platform over. So. Now we're going to work on the integration aspects, get it all tied together, and this thing should be really, really fast. And we've ditched that terrible North Star engine with the blower on it, which no one ever liked in the first place. So, <laughs> sayonara, North Star. So we are doing the interior final installation on the Chevelle right now. It turned out really nice. This is not the wheel we're using, so. Keep your mouth shut. Um, really nice custom made center console. Cool flip up lid. We've got the piano finish in the center console here. Um, Dakota digital gauges. We used a brand new original dash in this just because we kind of like the way that looks. However, with everything else, we've done a really nice modern interior so this is all relicate leather we've got perforated suede inserts we've got the suede perforated suede regular suede well alcantara perforated alcantara regular alcantara we've got the red regular and perf and then we've surrounded it all in leather real nice white stitching these are all custom made panels we're making all of our panels now one off on most of these high-end interior builds obviously if you want an original type interior we can pull that out for you as well. Um, but these are one-off. They're like nothing else. So you're not going to have a car that looks like someone else's car. There's a lot of interior kits you can buy out there. But then you just look like the guy right next to you at the car show. And it's a sad day. So we followed that pattern from here. We roll it back through here. Kind of a nice touch. Um, really cool. This is a, a wool carpeting. And it's, it's mostly gray, but there's little flecks of kind of white in there. So nice high-end look. And then the headliner is all done in Alcantara, if you can see it over the glare of this fluorescent light. And then the pillars are done in Alcantara as well. Can you get the back uh, package tray? Might be hard to get in there. Kind of a slick package tray We've got a port for the sub and then the two speaker holes as well there you go We're uh, flying along on the 56 Ford. Mark and Scott have been doing a ton of work. We've turned our lift into a chassis table. The good thing about it, doing it this way 
is it can go up and down on hydraulics and you can work underneath it and then when you're done you can roll the car right off so uh, first we level off the lift um, then we install these we, we level out these cross braces so we install these braces um, horizontally and level those out and then we weld it all together and then we weld our frame to these pieces so when you're welding nothing can flex and move around it's all nice and stable obviously constantly check for a square and you know you can go up and down and work on it kind of move stuff around as we build just make sure everything fits the correct way so here we are at the moment we've got our front suspension kind of mock-up installed everything's tacked in place but we just want to make sure everything fits correctly so we tack it all in look at it make sure everything articulates the way we want it to make sure the wheels can turn and move as we as we go along and build so you can see the braces for the body are sitting down where we want them on the chassis and again all this stuff is just tacked together at the moment so we have it sitting where we want it now we don't have the rockers on it obviously but it's sitting low and hard so it should look killer oh we also have the roof pretty much finished so they made the roof skin on the English wheel and we've got a new drip rail that we created Scott and Mark made all that stuff by hand it's not welded on yet but you can kind of see what's been done so far so We haven't done a whole lot with the back end of the truck, but we do have a rear end housing in it now, just for mock-up purposes so we can see where everything's going to go. Working on some different wheel choices at the moment. We'll be off to the races. Hey, thanks for watching the latest vlog. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and let us know what you want to see in the next vlog. Thanks for coming to our YouTube page. If you like what you see, make sure to subscribe. If you want notifications, click on the bell. If you want to buy some cool merch, click on the info card, or you can click on the link in the bio.